Royals, what's going on? It's your girl Q the Queen here, back with another video. Now, there were a couple pairs of NBA All-Star weekend um, drops, so to speak, of classic retros that I didn't really see nobody talking about. And because I actually have both already, I wanted to go ahead and give it a little spin. Uh, see what you guys think. See if you guys knew they dropped. See if you guys picked them up. Um, plan to pick them up. Whatever the case. So before we get into it though, make sure if you're loving the channel, you hit that subscribe button. If you're liking the content, hit that like button. And if you have any thoughts, comments, concerns, any feedback, hit that comment section. Because me and my royals, we talks about it. All right. Now. Two drops, a couple days ahead of uh, All-Star Weekend, within that week, super classic retros, man. Super classic retros. Let's talk about the first one. But, yeah! We have the Adidas Crazy 8, formerly known as the Kobe 8, huh? Now, actually showing y'all the clean one. I wear the mess out of this shoe, okay? <laughs> So I made sure I show y'all the clean one. Okay, so I want to say February 15th, um, Adidas dropped this on the website. Um, it's actually, yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but I followed just some of the drops that were drop coming out and I realized, I'm like, you know what? I actually have a couple of the things that, um, that are classics that are dropping and retroing um, that nobody's talking about. So I wanted to bring this to you guys' attention and to your ear. Um, now, the one that they dropped is the 1998 one that Kobe actually wore. Um, it has that black leather upper with them black patent leather stripes on it. So as you can see, mine is more of a retro reiteration. Um, since the word reimagined is, is being coined by Nike, this is one of them uh, reimagined pairs, okay? <laughs> reimagined from 2015. Adidas was reimagining before Nike. There you have it. <laughs> but anyway, that 1998 pair is the reason why I have this pair, okay? Now this pair is dope, it's sweet, but that's the pair, it's better, it's the one, and um, I might have to get rid of this one and go ahead and grab that one. That's how I'm feeling about it right about now. So um, yeah, it does have some differences enough to keep this one, but just saying, I have this one because of that one, okay? Because of that one. So that is the Adidas Kobe 8, now called the Crazy 8, of course, since Kobe left Adidas long, many, many years ago, many, many years ago, of course. Um, but that's one of the silhouettes. That is the best silhouette um, from Kobe's Adidas line, actually. So that's my opinion. That's always been my opinion. When I tell people that I appreciate Adidas Kobe's more than Nike Kobe's, this is the silhouette I'm talking about. This is the reason why that's the situation. There is no Nike Kobe silhouette better than this to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. But um, don't be surprised if you see that 98 OG on the page, on the channel, on the YouTube channel, man. Just saying, okay? So that's the classic retro drop number one. Let's get into that next one. Yeah! We got the Reebok question. OG red toe baby. Man, listen. <laughs> there is probably no shoe besides the Air Force One that is more poured out than this Reebok question shoe, man. It is such a classic and Reebok finds a way to keep shoving it down our throat, boy, I tell you. <laughs> so this is the 2015 pair. Um, they also uh, did the 25th anniversary suede red toe, I want to say in 2020. And now, on February 16th, they actually dropped this one again. It's pearlized red toe. See, this one is not the suede, it's the pearlized. That's the difference. But then, too, on that February 16th pair, they have the red speckles on the laces where I do not have. This is just the regular white. So. I would say them red speckle pairs is, is uh, the red speckle laces I actually like better, but I'm not gonna buy that shoe just for 
red speckles on the laces. I can buy laces with red speckles and have what I need because it, it has everything else is the same. All right, so. But yeah, man, this is obviously it is one of the colorways to have if you have a Reebok Question collection. Um, this is one of the colorways to have, man. You can't, I think this one and the blue one, obviously, if you don't have those two, you don't have a Reebok Question collection. All you need is those two to have a Reebok Question collection, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Just saying, that's how important these colorways are to this silhouette. And now the Shaq and AI are running a joint. They probably just running it back real quick to remind y'all like, hey, got the classic retro, throwing it out to y'all, y'all can grab it again and we gonna move on to the next classic retro. So I love what they are doing over there, by the way. I love what they are doing. But anyway, yeah, man, February 16th, these had dropped um, with the red speckle laces. So y'all hop on Reebok.com, go ahead and grab them. Um, obviously not a super expensive pair. They, they never were and still, really aren't so what y'all thinking do you already have these pairs are y'all gonna go ahead and reach back and grab them again everybody was so focused on that guy back there you see him <laughs> never before reimagine you see him you see the cheeks you see the cheeks, you see the cheeks. <laughs> um that we weren't paying too much attention to anything else so these to me if i did not have them uh, they would have been like on my must-have hit list during the week of All-Star Weekend. But since um, since I obviously already have both, I'm, I'm definitely going to reach back at the 98 pair with the leather. Um, don't have to do it right away. I'm sure I can grab it for a nice little steal and deal. And then my, my Crazy 8 um, collection will be where I want it to be. So anyway yeah man these are the two retro classics that dropped over the, the all-star weekend which you know what i don't want to go too crazy into conversation about all-star weekend but mm, i think y'all can read it on my face so i wasn't that impressed and i'm a little bit disappointed but we can talk about it in another video live something but um yeah all-star weekend even as much as the the sneaker drops, it, there was just no excitement around it. Adam Silver, Nike, all of the brands need to figure out something going forward. Cause yeah, we, Steph, the, the Steph and Sabrina um, shoot off was probably the most exciting thing to watch during All-Star Weekend. There were no cool sneakers to even look forward to in terms of like hooping sneakers, basketball sneakers from our stars. Um, nothing super exciting like I when you recap and you really reflect NBA All-Star Weekend 2024 was not memorable it was a waste I could have been doing something else with my time so um but I'm gonna leave it at that again y'all hit that comment section let me know if y'all reaching back for these if you already got them let's talk about it and until next time baby royalty <laughs>